Here we go, it's finally done, our unique chicken coop. Let's take you on a tour and show you exactly how we built it. But before we take you on that tour, we want to jump back in time just a few weeks and go through the construction process with you. Let's go. And don't forget, we always have a full list of the materials that we use on each one of our projects and they're listed in the description below. We created the base with some scrap 4x4 that we had laying around and then we made the frame with some treated 2x10 and the floor joists with treated 2x4s. We then hung those with joist hangers and the entire thing is 4 foot by 6 foot on the outside. If you're new to the channel, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of great information for you about homesteading here on the channel. All right, let's get back to the build. There's a few reasons why we constructed this platform to be four foot by six foot. One, we didn't have to make any unnecessary cuts on a full sheet of plywood. And two, chickens need an average of two to three square feet per chicken. We have eight chickens, so 24 square feet is perfect for them. Next, we started cutting our studs to length we cut them at uh, six feet so that we had room inside to actually walk upright in our coop. This was really important for us. I've been in way too many coops that you have to stoop down, hurt your back. We just constructed this using a uh, regular wall type framing and put our studs two feet on center. After we assembled the walls, we stood them up straight and secured them to the top of the decking with some three inch deck screws. You can see that the framing looks a little different and that's because we did use some scrap in this project. Use what you have is what I always say. Next comes our nesting box. Now this nesting box we made out of some scrap half inch plywood that we had. We used our brad nailer and put it together mostly with brad nails. We did use a few screws and a few spots but nesting boxes for your chicken should be roughly a 12 inch cube. These are a teeny tiny bit smaller on the width of them and that's no big deal. You can see my girl helping me out here. She always loves to be outside helping me with these things and I love having her there with me. It gives me a great opportunity to teach her what needs to be done in building things. We put a lip on the front and the back of the nesting box so the chickens didn't kick out their nesting material as well as the eggs and that's really kind of standard on any nesting box. Make sure you put that in there. We secured it into uh, the framed out opening and just attached it with some screws. From there we needed to get working on the door for the nesting box port so we could get into our eggs. So we just mitered some uh, two by fours secured them with some screws in the corners and that is serving as our door perfect fit look at that on to the next step hanging our siding so we pre hung our siding and then traced out where our openings were from there we took the siding onto the ground and cut out those openings now I know you what you're saying it's a little backwards you push it up with the siding on when the walls were on the ground but this is just the way we did it. it worked out fine for us and things were precisely cut out for us next thing is we're going to attach our cutout to our door frame for the nesting box we're just going to slide that in there attach it with a few screws and then we need to shim it out to get the proper spacing and clearance to put our hinges on after that just put it on a handle so we can pull it up and down and then put on a nice latch so that it uh, is secured. From there we're just going to move around the rest of our coop and attach our doors the same way, putting the rest of the siding on the frames and attaching everything with the hinges that we purchased. Look at that, perfect. Alright, let's move on to the inside run. We're going to level out and uh, start our framing for our inside run. We just assembled the indoor run the same way we did our outdoor run with those special uh, connectors that we talked about in that video. And we assembled the door the exact same way with those special corner. These are Simpson ties. You can find them in the description below if you like. All right, let's move on to the stairs. Now, the first thing we did when making the stairs, we had a template for our stair stringer. It was uh, three steps high. We just cut those out and Put them into place now make sure that you have your uh, wiring in place you can see here that we didn't 
get the, your wiring in place before you do your stairs because I had to take these back off and put them on again. All right, little added extra protection on the floor of the coop here with some roofing tar paper. This is a really cheap way to protect the floor. As you can see, the first thing about it is that it's indoors. That's really different from a lot of chicken coops. Usually you're sitting outdoors with them. We had this unique opportunity to take advantage of this space in our stable to build it. And there's a couple advantages of this. Let's go over those unique features and tell you exactly why we did what we did in putting it in the location that we did. Some of the advantages of putting it inside our stable right here are it's gonna keep it better insulated from the really hot weather that we have here in Texas. And two, it's gonna better protect it from predators. We opted to do a flush egg box here, and that was simply a design decision. I think it's pretty cool that it sits nice and flush with the exterior of the coop here. There's not something kind of protruding out. And right inside of here, you can tell that it's really gonna be easy to get to the eggs. We made sure to build these boxes with this lip here, right in front of the boxes, so that when we open the door, no eggs are gonna roll out and crack on the ground. One of the unique features of this coop is that it has this indoor run. And that is so our hens can get some relief from that hot Texas sun. So the inside area here is really sandy. That's gonna give the birds a great area to have a nice dirt bath. This is the opening for the birds to go into our outside run. If you haven't seen the video on how we built the outside run, I want you to go check it out right now. Here we are inside of our chicken room. We got this really cool feature here on the back side of the coop. This is a little trap door right here. Open it up, what do we got? We've got a drawer. That drawer sits right underneath our roosting bars. It's gonna give us the ability to empty out the chicken manure really easily. We're just gonna roll the wheelbarrow right in here, dump it out, boom, we're done. And right back out again. Super cool feature we added. Additionally, on the back side of the coop here, we've got a hole cut in the siding. That's bringing in some nice fresh air for the coop. Now, how's it gonna get into the coop? Well, we made this little sliding glass or plexiglass window right here and we've got some hardware cloth on the inside for some added extra protection. So we can get that cross breeze going all the way through the coop out that front window that you saw us install at Christmas time. We all know how fresh air is really important for chickens. So we built the coop about 18 inches up above the ground. We think that's really important to keep air circulation underneath the coop. Additionally, the girls can use it to cool off, take a nice dirt bath underneath the coop. But here we built just a simple set of stairs to get up inside of the coop. Let's head inside. So over here, we've got our roosting bars. We just made them out of some scrap, one by material, and for the girls to sit on, we've got some bamboo, and then right underneath it is that roll-out drawer that we've created to take that chicken manure and get it out of here. We've got that framed out opening on this side covered with chicken wire just to be safe from predators. But we need to get that ventilation in around and through the coop. This side of the coop for cross ventilation, we've got our other window, that playhouse window that we bought and you saw us install. Of course, some added hardware cloth for a little extra protection. So over here on the north side, we've put these nesting boxes. We've got them 17 inches off the ground and three of them, that's plenty for the number of chickens that we're gonna have in this coop. We made sure our hardware cloth wrapped all the way around this interior portion of the chicken run and extended out on the floor like we did on our exterior run. Additionally, all protection goes all the way up into the rafters of our stable. So we showed you the nesting boxes, the automatic water, the roosting bars, and a special trap door for the drawer to take out the chicken manure from under the roosting bars. But you're asking, well, where's the door for the chickens to get out of the coop? It's gonna be right there. And the reason we haven't done that yet is we have a really cool automatic chicken door opener that we wanna show you in a separate video. So I want you to make sure to stay tuned for that that chicken opening or the opening for the coop for the door is going to go right here. 
So we laid down some roofing tar paper in the coop and it's easily replaceable, but this tar paper is going to help protect this plywood floor from the manure soaking into it. Just a little added extra layer of protection. We hope you enjoyed the build. We have a lot of great projects here on our channel that I think are going to be helpful for all of you beginning homesteaders like us. Go check out these videos right here to see some great projects we've done building up our homestead.